What's going on guys, Ben Mechanic here and today working on the 2010 Ford Focus SE. My bad if I sound a little off today, I am a little sick, but we're doing uh, valve cover gaskets. Um, leaking, as you see. Um, not much to say, regular happens. Uh, customer purchased, brand new one. Um, and we're gonna install for her. So yeah, let's get to it. First thing I like to do is start with the spark plugs and the harness, get it all out the way. Simply push down the lever on each spark plug and they will come out. Just watch out for these lines because you don't want to bend or break them. These ones. And just like that, they are all out. I believe these are eight millimeters. And that's four. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. Pick the camera right. back up. Now that that bolt comes off, just like that, coils out, spark plug. Just go ahead and repeat that same step for all four. All right, y'all. Went ahead and pulled out all four of the coils. Uh, slowly, I also did pull out each of these from the injectors, all right here. And kind of slowly got these off each harness so we could get this whole thing out the way i did also remove this 13 millimeter off the back holding this so it gives us more clarity to bring this valve cover off now one way to tell if your gaskets are really leaking bad is if you just look in there now as you see look at that it's nothing but oil down there and uh, that's how you get misfires you see nothing but a bunch of oil in there oil in there and oil in there this is the only one that's good so out of four cylinders one cylinder is the only one that so far has no oil surrounding the spark plugs which should give misfire coats if not yet so this would be highly recommended to also do spark plugs with this job if you do have a situation like this um but yeah next is eight millimeters taking off all around um the back and taking the rest of that harness off there's a few more bolts take all the eight millimeters around off and should be able to lift this up pick you guys up i went ahead and took all the eight millimeters off the sides um all the harnesses out the way there is this little plastic tube connects from the back of the valve cover to the intake so I'll take that off and now just go ahead and use a tool or something like this to get under right here and just lift I'm go ahead and put the camera down use two hands and then I'll pick it back up Now that I've uh, took the cover off, um, I'm going to slowly start. I already went ahead and cleaned some of the areas. As you see, I'm going to start cleaning by the rest of the top above, like all that debris all around. Clean it all off. Um, we got the new covering gasket. And then we're just going to go ahead and install it the same way. But I will show you guys the process. And just so you guys, just in case you guys don't know, this is the timing chain and uh, the timing belt of the car, whichever one y'all call it. Uh, some some cars it's built, some cars it's changed. Um, two camshafts, and you know you got the fuel injectors and uh, your spark plugs. As you see, those are completely covered in oil, so that's not good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to clean all that up. And then um, show you guys the final final result. I went ahead and cleaned every little bit of the edges. Um, some of them, you know, are still stained. They won't fully come off, but that's fine as long as not wet oil. And we got the new one. 
um the one customer bought is not oem however it is a brand new one from online it'll get the job done and show you guys the installation process all right y'all it's the final results put everything back together spark plugs in injectors connected harness all back together um all the bolts tied down all around including the two that are in here um this little plastic hose tube whatever you want to call it is reconnected um and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and crank her up let's get it starting see how it sounds runs feels uh try to clean as much as i can on the outsides um but yeah so far job successful go ahead and show you guys how the engine runs all right now that the engine's running no check engine light no more for the customer everything seems to be running way more normal the customer had a huge shake in their engine as well before this um now it seems to be running perfectly fine yeah another successful job and until next time